Hello, and welcome to the Public Information Center for the preliminary engineering phase of the New Jersey Department of Transportation Oak Tree Road Bridge CR604 project located in the township of Edison in Middlesex County, New Jersey. This virtual public information center is open from March 18th, 2022 through April 1st, 2022 to learn about the project at any time. It is open to all members of the public. The video presentation will be available to view at oaktreeroadoverconrail.com through the public comment period, which ends April the 1st, 2022. We'll explain how to submit questions and comments at the end of the presentation. Responses to frequently asked questions will be posted on this website after April the 8th, 2022. In this presentation, we will provide the purpose and need for the project. We will also go over information on the project's background, existing conditions of the project corridor, as well as review section 106 of the National Historic Preservation Act of 1996 to consider the effects on surrounding historic properties. Additionally, this presentation will present the proposed bridge and roadway improvements and discuss the preliminary traffic management plans during the construction period. Finally, we will review the status of the project and offer an opportunity for comments and feedback. The overall purpose of the project is to replace structure number 1253-164, which carries Oak Tree Road CR604 over the Conrail Lehigh Valley line. The structure is considered structurally deficient and functionally obsolete. The main bridge span is fracture critical due to the structure type and therefore requires replacement. This is an orphan bridge under the Project 46 Orphan Bridges Group RR9B. The purpose of this presentation is to provide local residents, officials, and businesses with information and allow opportunity for feedback on the Oak Tree Road over the Conrail Lehigh Valley Line Bridge Replacement Project. We will now review the project information. Oak Tree Road CR604 is a Middlesex County roadway that passes through the township of Edison and runs west to east in Middlesex County, New Jersey. Just west of the intersection of Oak Tree Road with Woodland Avenue is the borough of South Plainfield. At the project location, the Conrail Lehigh Valley Line has two railroad tracks running southwest to northeast under Oak Tree Road at mile post 0.45. The project corridor is approximately one quarter mile in length, extending beyond the bridge on each side of the railroad tracks from CR 604 mile post 0 0.30 to mile post 0.55. Within the project limits is the intersection of Oak Tree Road with Harding Avenue and the intersection of Oak Tree Road with the High Crest Dog Kennel Driveway. There are multiple local businesses near the project corridor. Within the greater area surrounding the project includes multiple shopping centers, a station for the Edison Fire Department, St. Thomas Aquinas High School, and multiple residential areas. There are local and regional commuters that depend on this important bridge connection. Structure number 1253-614 is a three-span bridge that carries Oak Tree Road CR604 over the Conrail Lehigh Valley line. The structure was originally constructed in 1931 and is considered an orphan bridge that will be owned and maintained by Middlesex County once construction is complete. The roadway in the project area runs east to west and is considered an urban minor arterial with one travel lane in each direction and no shoulders. The posted speed limit is 35 miles per hour, and the average daily traffic count for two-way traffic is approximately 23,000 vehicles per day. The roadway is under the jurisdiction of Middlesex County. We will now review the existing conditions. The current New Jersey Department of Transportation Bridge Inspection Report Ratings were poor for the overall deck rating and fair for the overall structure rating. These ratings indicate that the bridge is structurally deficient. Structurally deficient does not indicate that the bridge is not safe for travel, but it does indicate that increased maintenance is required to keep the bridge in a state of good repair. 
The bridge is also considered functionally obsolete due to the substandard deck geometry, which includes just a 30 foot width from curb to curb. The existing section includes one 15 foot lane westbound and one 15 foot lane eastbound with no shoulders present. There is a substandard five foot wide sidewalk in the eastbound direction and currently no sidewalk in the westbound direction. Pedestrian travel in the area is not ADA compliant. Additionally, current safety features such as the guide rail, connections, and parapets are outdated and require replacement with current standards. Additional substandard items of the Oak Tree Roadway include substandard stopping sight distance for the vertical sag curves on either side of the bridge. This indicates that the roadway grades through the bridge are too steep for comfortable sight distance. There is also existing substandard stopping sight distance at the non-signalized intersection of Oak Tree Road with Harding Avenue, located directly east of the bridge. Vehicles departing Harding Avenue currently do not have the required view to detect vehicles traveling over the Oak Tree Road Bridge as they enter onto Oak Tree Road. Based on current Conrail design standards, the minimum required vertical clearance between the railroad tracks and bottom of a structure should be 23 feet. The existing vertical clearance is currently only 22 feet. Therefore, the roadway profile and bridge elevation needs to be raised to meet this standard. Also, the curb ramps at the intersection of Oak Tree Road and Harding Avenue are not ADA compliant, making it difficult for some pedestrians to safely traverse the area. Overall, the purpose of this project is to replace the bridge with a new bridge that would eliminate the deficiencies, meet current design standards, and improve safety for motorists and pedestrians. We will now review Section 106. Throughout the U.S., the National Historic Preservation Act of 1966 requires federal and state agencies to take into account the effects of project improvements on historic properties. This process is commonly referred to as a Section 106 review. The Oak Tree Bridge was recommended not eligible for listing in the National Register of Historic Places during the New Jersey Historic Bridge Survey. The structure is a typical example of a through plate girder bridge by a railroad company and does not possess the architectural or engineering significance to be considered individually eligible for listing on the NRHP. The bridge, constructed between 1931 and 1932, was during the period of significance for the Lehigh Valley Railroad Historic District. Overall, the Oak Tree Road Bridge contributes to the significance and characteristics of the historic district as a rail transportation corridor and is recommended as a contributing resource to the NRHP eligible historic district. A range of alternatives were investigated in evaluating a prudent and feasible option to replace the Oak Tree Road Bridge. It was determined there are no prudent and feasible alternatives to the use of Oak Tree Road Bridge over Conrail, and the project includes all possible planning to minimize harm resulting from the proposed improvements. The project meets the applicability criteria for the pragmatic Section 4F evaluation for projects that necessitate the use of historic bridges issued by the Federal Highway Administration. We will now review the proposed improvements. The proposed design eliminates the deficiencies and substandard undesirable items that were listed in the previous slides. The new bridge cross-section will meet the requirements for lane, shoulder, and sidewalk widths. In addition to providing a 12-foot lane in each direction, the proposed condition also introduces an 11-foot shoulder in the westbound direction and a 13-foot shoulder in the eastbound direction. This is a major improvement from the current absence of shoulders. The extra width added to the eastbound shoulder helps mitigate the stopping sight distance at the Harding Avenue intersection previously mentioned. The introduction of shoulders improves the curb-to-curb -curb horizontal clearance across the bridge from 30 feet to 48 feet. This will eliminate the structure from the functionally obsolete category. Additionally, the new structure will have an out-to-out -out width of 62 feet. The proposed Oak Tree Road Bridge will contain an additional 4 feet of width 
to provide standard intersection stopping sight distance for vehicles departing Harding Avenue and entering the Oak Tree Road traffic flow. This extra bridge width also aids in traffic staging of the bridge during construction and for future maintenance operations. The proposed Oak Tree Road Bridge will be a simple span straight steel girder superstructure on full height cast in place abutments with spread footings. The proposed bridge replacement structure will meet all current geometrical and safety standards and eliminates the current substandard elements within the existing Oak Tree Road section. The proposed profile eliminates deficiencies in substandard items that were listed earlier in the presentation. The new profile will meet the requirements for site distance and bridge under clearance. The proposed profile is raised to meet the 23-foot vertical clearance requirement from the top of railroad tracks set forth by Conrail and the New Jersey Department of Transportation. The proposed profile raise was shifted to the west of the bridge to minimize the impacts to the properties, businesses, and intersection with Harding Avenue that are directly east of the bridge. The shift to the west also aids in construction staging. Some additional improvements affiliated with the proposed bridge design also include the six-foot sidewalk proposed on both sides of the bridge that will extend through the approach roadways and provide full pedestrian connectivity in both the eastbound and westbound directions. Additionally, ADA compliant curb ramps and crosswalks will be installed at the intersection of Oak Tree Road and Harding Avenue to improve safety and provide full access for all pedestrians. Due to the raise in the profile and being shifted to the west of the bridge, the driveway for the High Crest Kennels property will be relocated. This relocation further from the structure will provide improved sight distance for vehicles exiting the driveway and to provide improved stopping sight distance for vehicles on Oak Tree Road. The profile improvements will require retaining walls on all four quadrants of the bridge to retain the embankment fill. There will also be an underground detention system installed to address the increase in discharge that will be directed to the railroad tracks from the profile raise. This detention system will maintain excess drainage resulting from the new pavement areas. This slide depicts a proposed schematic of the project area. The light gray shape above the railroad tracks represents the proposed bridge deck. The next darkest shade of gray shows the proposed relocation of the reconstructed High Crest Kennel driveway. The darkest shade of gray represents the proposed pavement limits of the project. The orange shows the proposed sidewalk in the area, and the blue shapes represent the proposed retaining walls for the structure. The green areas represent proposed grass areas, which will indicate the limits of the work. These grass areas will include standard topsoiling, fertilizing, and seeding. We will now review traffic management. Proposed construction will be performed in three stages, supporting traffic in both directions, as well as pedestrians. Middlesex County recommended that staged construction be utilized and maintain a single lane of traffic in each direction. A proposed detour of Oak Tree Road traffic through the community was not acceptable. The existing bridge is a through girder type bridge that cannot easily be partially demolished or staged. The roadway geometrics and widening have been set to provide significant space on the widened westbound portion of the bridge to temporarily support two lanes of traffic during staged construction. The posted speed limit will be lowered to 25 miles per hour within the project limits. The three stages of construction will be defined in detail. Stage one will involve constructing the westbound side of the bridge, the supporting widened roadway embankment and the westbound retaining walls. During this stage, traffic will remain in its existing location with one eastbound lane and one westbound lane while pedestrian access is maintained on the existing eastbound sidewalk. The work area will be off the westbound edge of the pavement. A majority of the work being completed in stage one will include the bridge construction in the new High Crest Kennels driveway in the northeast quadrant of the project. During the last three weeks of this stage, it is anticipated that access to High Crest Kennels will be served via the newly constructed driveway. The duration of stage one is approximately nine months. 
Stage two will involve constructing the eastbound side of the bridge, roadway approaches, and the eastbound retaining walls. During this stage, traffic will be shifted to the roadway and bridge constructed in stage one with one eastbound lane and one westbound lane. Sight distance would be limited for vehicles departing Harding Road onto the Oak Tree Road traffic stream. So northbound traffic along Harding Avenue will be detoured during this stage. This detour will be discussed later in this presentation. Work will be divided into two sub-stages, where stage 2A will include demolition of most of the existing bridge. The southern fascia beam and existing sidewalk will be maintained to allow pedestrian access on the existing sidewalk. The duration of stage 2A is approximately seven months. Stage 2B will include demolition of the southern fascia beam and sidewalk. Vehicular traffic remains in the same configuration from stage 2A. Pedestrian traffic will be redirected adjacent to Oak Tree Road eastbound traffic using temporary concrete construction barrier to separate vehicular traffic and pedestrian traffic. The duration of stage 2B is approximately 10 months. Stage three is required for final cleanup to remove temporary pavement, construct the final westbound sidewalk, build the curb ramps, and install the guide rails. Traffic will be placed in its final alignment then. Lane shifts will be utilized to conduct final milling and paving. The duration of stage three is approximately one month. This aerial photo depicts the southern portion of the project area. The proposed project location of the bridge is illustrated by the red circle at the top of the photo. Stage two involves the demolition of the remaining bridge eastbound and the construction of the proposed eastbound bridge. During this stage, the work zone and construction barrier will inhibit sight distance for drivers leaving Harding Avenue and entering Oak Tree Road. Therefore, to maintain safe roadway operations, vehicles will only be allowed to enter Harding Avenue from Oak Tree Road during this stage. Vehicles that normally would depart Harding Avenue northbound via Oak Tree Road will be detoured southbound until the southern end of Harding Avenue. From there, depending on the intended destination, vehicles can either turn right or left onto Stevensville Parkway and proceed to their destination. This slide shows a graphic representation of the potential travel movements indicated by the flow arrows. We will now review the project status. The image shows the New Jersey Department of Transportation project delivery process. The project has graduated through the problem screening and concept development phases and is currently in the preliminary engineering phase. In this phase, the designer is responsible for coordinating with stakeholders, conducting environmental analysis for the preliminary preferred alternative initiating roadway structural and utility engineering, initiating right-of-way and access, preparing the final design and construction cost estimates, and managing project contracts. Once preliminary engineering is complete, the project will advance to the final design phase where construction contract documents shall be completed. After final design, the project will move into the construction phase. The project will complete the preliminary engineering phase this spring of 2022, and the start of the final design phase will begin in the fall of 2022. The start of the construction phase is anticipated to be spring of 2028. We will now provide information on how to submit comments and feedback. Thank you for taking the time to view this presentation on the preliminary engineering phase for the Oak Tree Road CR604 over the Conrail Lehigh Valley Line Bridge replacement project. Next steps include the 14-day public comment period where the New Jersey Department of Transportation welcomes input from the public. The frequently asked questions will be posted to this webpage after April the 8th, 2022. Then the preliminary engineering report will be prepared with all documentation to finalize this phase of the project. Please submit questions or comments through April 1, 2022 by mail to Meredith Hammond, Regional Coordinator 
at the New Jersey Department of Transportation's Office of Community Relations. The mailing address is P.O. Box 600, Trenton, New Jersey, 08625-0600. After April the 1st, 2022, you can contact Meredith Hammond by email at meredith.hammond at dot.nj.gov or by phone at 609-963-1982. Your participation and comments are appreciated by the New Jersey Department of Transportation. Thank you.